Okie dokie. All annual telescopes are now done. Believe it or not, that was a great effort. And each of them is anywhere between one hour and 45 minutes, and some of them are even going to two hours. The first segment is kind of collectively about the year we are going into 2018, and that's some good 45 minutes. And after that, you can check your own sign and everything is going on. So this is right now, every individual one is like 29.95 and collectively to get them all is $59.95 so guys feel free to go and check this link below or the link on the screen and go and order your telescope you can get it within 24 hours and sometimes even faster so to everybody who ordered thank you so much and i really hope you're going to enjoy and even order additional one all the best guys talk to you soon all right now, and without further ado, let's figure out what is in the store for you. And I'm going to start with a quick explanation of the cards and the dimensions, why I chose the seven different categories. So guys, uh, if you want this for yourself, this is the best energy to really figure out about your relationship. Just order it via www.cattarot.ca. Thanks. Hi guys, and welcome to my Cat Terra Nose X spread. I have really developed this after struggling with what kind of combination of the cards do I need to find in order for this to kind of like really give me the answers that I need. And this works absolutely fantastically well. It kind of discovers every underlying reason that kind of like I need to know. It works for on and off relationships, it can work for existing relationships, and it works fantastically for the ex-relationships. And um, so each of these cards is actually taken from a different deck. And I have the same cards in here as well. So these cards are basically denoting almost like a title of the book. So guys, listen to this introduction. I'm going to delete all the messages saying go to this part and to go to this part because this is really important until we absorb this. So what do we have here? We have the magician. This category here is going to summarize to me, okay, what is the bounty that this kind of like connection had? Can you actually even make it a go? Was it ever a starter? So what if here in the building blocks you get something that it's, it's basically a, a wrench that obviously will tell me this actually was never on that project trajectory. The temperance reversed here is telling me about certain things that couldn't have been maybe made. It couldn't have been created. You know, each relationship is bringing two different people that have to kind of like merge together. And sometimes they just like actually collide together instead. So this is going to be categories going to kind of point out to that. This is going to be one significator. It could be you. And this is going to be another significator. And this category here, 801s, is representing for me the communication exchanges and the energies between the partners, right? So the judgment here is my karma card. And I really want to see here, what is basically karma thinking about that? Was this a go? Did you guys were asked to go further? Because sometimes it's a karmic relationship. Did you have to learn something out of it and what? And then basically the uh, quality of relationship, where this is going, what is the next level. So, okay, so it was not that hard. It was like just under three minutes explanation. So let me just jump in into your readings. Hi, Pisces. So let's check your monthly. Is he coming back? Oh, this was sexy. Yay and see what's happening i'm doing this a little bit different because it's a general reading in my uh, personal so i kind of like pay a little bit more attention to cards especially to the crucial cards well i will do that here as well to be honest but i will actually go faster so what basically will happen here for pisces give me pisces for this upcoming four weeks Pisces, Pisces for the upcoming 
four weeks and guys this is still on special for fifty dollars so check my website www.cattera.ca or it's down in the description you can kind of check and connect to this reading pisces is their ex coming back okay so let's see the first week what we see here ouch wow two nines out of the gate there is like some kind of like finality in all of that okay guys what's happening here is that you're like sick and fed up of feeling unhappy and sick and fed up it just like feels like that you're tired of looking into that you kind of almost feel like really big sexual chemistry and sexual connection with this person but also you feel this person was very toxic this person could have been with somebody the queen of pentacles is my wife card especially now with the devil it could be because the the sun reverse could be a marriage it could have been simply a burnout in this relationship could be like no put a fork in me i'm done good news you guys are coming up as wheel of fortune you guys are coming up as big changes are coming and this is kind of conscientious decision, but it's also karmic decision that this is one of my karma cards showing up here. This also could mean that you, either you or that fellow or lady wrote you in their chart. And this was like a really important meeting in this lifetime to accomplish something. So let's see the second week over here. second karma card holy moly definitely and you probably guys are hurting because this this usually happens when it's a karmic connection it's one of those things that kind of like really kind of like mesh together over centuries so it's like like this in the beginning of the relationship but over a few lifetimes it's just like this so it's kind of hard to pull it out for sure so here's telling me um this is a good card to have a special in this category it talks about yay you maybe have been seen as the perfect woman or if you're a guy maybe you've seen her as the perfect woman or perfect partner right it kind of like had this uh quality of like je ne sais quoi kind of like i finally found what i was looking for but it could have been on and off relationship could have been something that caused anxieties there was not enough transparency in this relationship and it it could have been also definitely a third person and the third person could have um, been even married with um, it could be even two it could be even a fourth person that I see over here now there is like something that justice hasn't been served. It kind of feels this way. It feels icky. It feels kind of like this feeling icky in the stomach, right? You're wondering why in the world this hasn't been built? Like why was this so difficult? Where the partner is feeling kind of like maybe they returned back to their family. Maybe they were, maybe they are so unhappy inside that they feel like everything is lost but they actually do wish you to go back to be who you are because they kind of like really worship who you were and kind of like this is really good in this category that you guys are reclaiming yourself in this situation and and these two cards being bookends it's like really really good this card is warning to say take a rest do not strike back just 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 slide roll with the punches because this is question this is when karma is saying coming back in your life and look your question right the next week and saying let's see if you do something let's see if you strike back because this says even though maybe something hasn't been serving you well sometimes it's out of balance something some unfairness took place or maybe could be even negative judgment in the court system this also says don't do anything because this is not final because justice gets served sooner or later right and don't take justice in your hands because then you're getting bad brown uh, bad karma points look at this you have the third card the judgment third karma card here you guys need to work on your boundaries 
you you need to not to say everything that is on your mind um keep some secrets for yourself it's good wow okay so this is definitely a karmic relationship and could be in both ways uh it could be the spring charming who was so charming that he charmed even himself thinking that he wants to go in this relationship but there definitely was a call for right or wrong there was like definitely knowledge of what is right and wrong and it was chosen wrong and on the surface it appeared as if oh come on you didn't get it like maybe you thought they didn't really understand that they're doing something that oh poor thing he would never do that or she would never do that and you were kind of like arguing your point and fighting the truth is they had issues on their own look at his three major arcanas looming over here you guys look at this this is two and this is eleven and then you also have 20. so you have all cards that have the flavor of two two is always talking about the choices right and this is talking about wrong path wrong choice this is talking it's going out of balance and this one is talking about you know you are not privy to certain issues in order to even uh, understand this full full kind of picture because this person it's basically hopeless. They uh, they either not the right person or not the right time, and I have a feeling that the contract is over. That's why the hangman is showing up. Meaning, you were supposed to learn something from this connection. This is why you have this. I just need Ace of Swords, and I have all four. That's huge rarity to see all four. Even when I see one, I already say this was a karmic relationship. What it means. You wrote this person in, in, in either your chart or they wrote you in their chart because they wanted something to be, again, resolved in this life. And this basically was resolved and somebody was on the receiving end of this. And now it's saying, okay, just kind of like, kind of clean that karmic debt. And it was not supposed to go further. It was not supposed to further. And it's just like whenever you unglue karmic relationship it does feel like ouch it's just like pulling the band-aid because this card says this kind of like was about sacrificing this kind of was about learning the lesson this kind of was about being out of your elements being subject to pain and being subject kind of like standing still and just kind of like absorbing how other people feel and what basically you can see from a different standpoint and different kind of point of view and this is that's the karmic message literally kind of like trying to figure out whether you have been hurt or not and it looks like has been a third party because usually past lives are that you live one life one side of the coin another one is the another one so in one you're a judge another one you're a thief so just because you have been hurt here it's why it's calling you look don't do anything because trust me on the long run it's going to kind of get ironed out and let's see the fourth week here yeah the contract is over guys absolutely over with the prince charming you guys have to sit on your throne be the empress or if you're a guy you should be thankful for being kind of like getting a little bit of feminine element in this i'm not saying you're a complete female right now but i'm saying you're getting this understanding how this looks on the other side and there is like emotional enrichment in the situation yeah, the guy didn't want to commit. It was issue with somebody. And it could be a child involved in all of this. Keep in mind this person could be uh could be stalking you. It actually could be issues. You're losing any passion for this entire situation. Sort of like you are getting this in the third week entirely and saying, look, we're continuing on this path. I'm just continuing on a path of unnecessary suffering. And I can continue and, and wonder about that. But the truth is, nothing is changing here. This keeps on going on. Maybe this person is depressed. But honestly, you're talking about, okay, you know what? It is time to move forward. It is time to be happy. I have to look for smaller moments in my life that can bring me happiness. Warning, this person could be following you. This person could be uh, defensive could be even attacking you or kind of like trying to kind of win a battle 
kind of like taking almost like almost like this sounds like one of those old women tricks either tears or something just to kind of like get some kind of reaction but I, I think like you kind of like very resolute about that you just kind of like had enough over that it looks like it was a relationship with too much arguing and it's arguing over things that shouldn't be argued, the things that are really, really clear that, you know, you shouldn't be having anxiety, should be transparency. When somebody says something emotional, they should follow through with that. So hence, that shouldn't be suffering in the situation. And by staying in the situation, you will suffer and you are then doing it to yourself. So basically, I hope this kind of like makes sense. I would love to hear your comments and I would love to hear what you say. And so please, you know, you're welcome to do that and also like, I hope you can like this video and subscribe and visit me on my Facebook and all this info is down in the description. Thank you so much guys. I love you to death and talk to you soon.